Welcome once again to another episode of Yeet TV. <laughs> Where's the Yeet's coming from the background? Yeet. Yeet. That's that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Yeah, we got a little semi get together going on right here. Yeah. Kind of a <laughs> but it might be somewhat of a small preview for <laughs> WrestleMania weekend. So. It's going to be kind of loud in here that weekend. Yeah, it's going to be kind of loud. Well, I mean, I'm not going to even say it. Kind of, it's going to be yeah, really loud. Yeah, really, really loud. So, especially if Darwin's here. Yeah, Some mouthy fucker. Yeah, well, except for what did you just do? I didn't do anything. Well, except for the last time I just saw Darwin, he didn't say a whole lot. So, no. of course, it was you know way early in the morning, four o'clock in the damn morning. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of redonkulous. I'm surprised we were even awake. So redonkulous. <laughs> Hold please as I share this out. He will share it out. I'm going to shark. Yeah, he's always sharpening it out. <laughs> but he's got too many dang kids. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Listen to him talking shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's all right though. <sighs> <laughs> so of course we just had an episode. This last Sunday, which of course normally we cover, you know, the three main shows, but we, so we've only got two shows under our belt this week. But still, even Monday, with Monday night wasn't that good to me. It was more raw tin than raw. Yeah, it was. It was. There it were was, certain parts. That it I, was mid card. The whole show was mid card. So I hate to say it, but I mean, so there were there were good high spots, and then there were there certain, was a lot of low spots. Yeah. So just trying to get ready. I mean, once again, it took them forever to finally get to something that was worth watching. Yeah. What you, know. Is this? What is this? you know what? I don't like you no more. You ripped it. You can take yours off too. We have gold penises. Look at that. We have gold penises. Yeah. <laughs> we have the golden ticket. So, so, I mean, well, let's we'll just get into it. I mean, it started off like shit. <laughs> I mean, the whole. How are you going to make Cody wait an hour? Well, I mean, but he did show up to help Jay, right? But, I mean, How but you make him wait an hour. But still, when he came out, he was in a suit. He beat their ass in a suit. Yeah, but we'll get to that. Ten thousand dollars shoe. We'll, we'll get to that because I mean, <laughs> were they non-slip? I'm gonna see if this will cover because we got a lot of background noise. The background noise is there regardless. It's it still there. <laughs> I think it went quiet. There's a lot of yeah because pacified. It just happened to be at the same time that I put that right. on. <laughs> you know you love us. No, not at all. <laughs> Never. <laughs> this guy sitting behind me over here. His name is Jordan. He's like forty feet tall. And he's holding the baby. Yes. Yeah. I think he was, he was wanting to play some games, but you know, instead he's he's being the babysitter right now. So yes. just for now. Just for now. Just for now. Yeah. So what's I mean, up, Brian? Not sure what to think about the whole. I mean, we finally got. Final confirmation, you know, which we all knew between Jimmy and Jay. Oh, look it doesn't background. show how many people are watching. But you do. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, not at all. I mean, it looks good. Snap on. What's up, Curtis? Well, I wasn't quite, you know, we were expecting it, but it was still kind of the same old, same old. Yes. You know, yes. You know, the older brother trying to take, you know, you know, oh, well, the only reason you got your moment is because of me type, you know, and it was okay. Yeah. I mean, but once again, we got what we expected. Solo came in, Cody saved him. Yes. So, what's up, I mean, Curtis? It's, you know, it's same old, same old. Yes. But then we did finally get, you know, uh, to me, I really enjoyed the match with the Creed Brothers versus DIY. That one was good. Watching the Creed Brothers for NXT coming over and then, you know, showing why Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano were the face. Both of those guys were the, the face of the NXT for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And you see, you finally got to see why. Yes. 
DIY. DIY, yeah. Because they tore it down. <clears throat> Some of the feats of strength with the Creed brothers, they're, I mean, he's most, ridiculous. He's ridiculous. He's yeah. small, but ridiculous. Yes. Well, I wouldn't say small. He's probably like 250. Yeah, I mean, but still, and but to be able to, to pick up, right. he was on his knees and he'd say, well, yeah. Right. I, would, it's crazy. So, I mean, it was great. I, 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 it's one of those, I, I couldn't be mad at that match. I really, no, no. Which, and something I think we're going to start doing possibly is, you know, we'll grade the matches on what we, you know, because as they go I along, we'll start giving them that, that, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Such violence. <laughs> she needs a permit to talk like that. Because I said so, that's why. She's too short to talk. I'm doing what I can. Seriously? What? I'm doing what I can. Seriously? Seriously what? Your text seven minutes ago. Oh, that wasn't mine. I wasn't mean. I said please. I think. I said both of y'all pictures, by the way. Oh. Huh? I said both of y'all pictures. Okay. Is it a dirty one? Absolutely. Damn right. Okay, now I gotta look at this dirty picture. Is it of a dog that fell in a puddle? That's a dirty picture. That That's is a, definitely that, dirty. That is a dirty picture. <laughs> She's looking at the picture like, uh, what is this? <laughs> this is far from Nugan that's on me. <laughs> so, after that, we did get the to be the continued courting of Andrade mm -hmm. by the Judgment Day. Lame. So, but they did do some things that was kind of. It, it, I think it still follows track with what we were talking about of possibly replacing Andrade with Dominic. The, I mean, Dominic with Andrade. Yeah. So, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they kind of. I don't know if it was just me because I'm I'm winning it. I expect it. What if they replace JD? I mean, I, honestly, I think if Dominic goes, JD, I don't know. I mean, because they're right there. If if the things happen like we saw the, the spoilers for, Truth and Finn will be split. Rhea will think she's hot shit. Unless she loses the belt. I think she's going to lose the belt. As I, I said, I think this, this whole thing that they're building up, it's going to be not a full deconstruction but a rebuilding implosion it will be a small implosion because especially because it looked like damien and andrade kind of had some tension there oh, a lot so like i don't know almost you know that uh, one right there that right there i just beat my mic yeah <laughs> so like i said it's it'll Sorry. look like you do that way too often Sorry, brother. I do sometimes. It's all good. So, <laughs> so I mean, if they could reconstruct it, make it a little different. I said, Damien, I, I, Damien really needs to go on his own. And I think it'd also be great for Finn. I, I mean, if, it, if, if it's Finn, Rhea, Andrade, I do see JD just because of the connection between JD and Finn. And I think they'd actually probably be a better group in all with that. JD is like you said, he's JD, lacking, he, but he hasn't been able to show off. I mean, he did last you know, the previous week, right? Like he said with Ricochet because he was going toe to toe with Ricochet, right? So, if you were able to single him out because he, him, like I said, him and Dominic are right here, right? And so, if you got two of them, they're kind of making each other, you mm -hmm. know, I'm using Dominic's higher in my would be like I said, I still think he's the number one heel. Oh, yeah, easy. So you get rid of him, it helps elevate JD. It puts him, you know, as a tougher character, especially with Finn, Andrade, and Rhea. So, yeah. See. Damien does need to go back to that. Archer, Damien, yeah. Damien was doing really good. Yeah. He was already starting. Singles. He was already starting to build. Yeah. I, and, I mean, I know, I know they do factions not to have popularity, but to help build. 
you know, like it's it's kind of like right. a tutoring program. Like I said, basically. You know, for in, at the time when Damien came in, it was basically going to be under the tutelage of Edge. Right. Beautiful. It would have been great. Yep. But when Edge stepped away, I mean, it really wasn't tutelage under Finn. It was they were all supposed to be at the same level, and it just, I mean, it kind of worked, but it long run, it's not going to. The Damien, he he is future he needs to be on his own if he's going to have a group he needs to be the legit leader right and you can't have damien as a legit leader with finn being in your group right right so i mean like i said he, to get to the next level he needs that that, that needs to happen and it, i think it will happen i think that's what they're aiming towards so yeah. whether they rename them or whatever i don't know but that's i don't know it, but I said they all have that same kind of thing going on. It can't be Regeneration X. I know that much. <laughs> I, I noticed this last week. They didn't say that. Either. No, they did on SmackDown though. But that's before. Raw. raw. It, it, Was it Raw? Not this last Raw. Unless I missed it. You might have. I might have because I tuned out there for a little bit. There was one thing that kind of I lost interest, and it might have been an L section. I even brought. I I even wrote it down how much i lost interest because of this one section it just mm -hmm. it lost me um of course then i was completely stoked when i heard bo dallas yes and what they have coming up april 1st to the documentary of bray yep so i'm ready for that yeah and undertaker is going to narrate it yeah so i thought it was really great that they had bullet one talking at first but their undertaker so it's like they're getting people ready to start hearing from Bo again. Mm -hmm. So whatever character it's going to be, whether it's Wormwood or whatever it's going to be. So I'm and Wormwood would be the perfect one. I think so, especially with the outfits that I've I saw. Oh, God, it, yes. It would be great. Yes, it would fit. It would fit so well. And like I said, that comes out the first shortly after that mania. I mean, I could see that Monday after Mania. It, it, it being revealed now curtis do you know the backstory behind regeneration x do you, do you know about that because <laughs> if you don't i'll educate you real quick <laughs> so um let's see of course then that's when cody came out and i he was just on it I mean, on it, talking about his how his his mom is not who he thinks his mama is. He attacked right. she attacked an undercover cop, um, and then just went after the Rock. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, just the unleashed. I don't think I've ever heard the word "dick" on wrestling TV ever. Yeah, like I'm like they let that happen. So I rewound it later. Yeah, and watched it on YouTube. I watched it and then just yeah, I played it. I mean, uh, you know, I thought he's gonna leave it at LDS, and then he actually said it. And I was like, oh boy, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Curtis, in 2012, he and I started a film company called regeneration x films and regeneration x studios mm -hmm. so um, we actually still have a youtube channel and facebook pages yes and we've so, actually posted on them recently <laughs> that, before that, they even said it on tv that name has been ours for 12 years so but yeah we still have the licensing on it so technically we could collect the royalty i mean I, you know if they were i would a, sell it to them yeah or i mean if they want you know lifetime make, tickets to the show and you know make us part of yeah I mean, yeah i'd be down to you know work with them yeah you know? let me write one episode <laughs> work you know, episode where you know work. so i was watching rivals uh-huh right there is a writer for wwe that I would have never guessed was a writer for WWE. Okay. He's an actor. Right. Freddie Prince? Yes. Yeah. Never would have thought yeah. that. I saw has him on there and I was like, years. yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. is one of the writers and has been for a. Very He's retired long now. I said former. Oh, he did former. Okay. Yeah. I knew he did for quite a while. Oh, that's right. Because he just started his own yeah. organization yeah. just recently. 
So yeah, he was a writer in the back of part for quite a while. Right. So yeah, a lot of people when they found out, I was like, I, I was Fred? I was watching the TV with my wife, and she came on a screen. He went off screen. I was like, hold on. And she goes, what? I was like, look. And she goes, she's all that. Yeah. <laughs> But I was thinking more Scooby Doo. Yeah, you know. yeah, Fred. Come on, now. Fred. Yeah. I mean, of course, I also remember from other things before that, and of course, who his wife is. Yes. Yeah. You know, I remember so. him from. Um, she's all that. I remember him from Scooby Doo. I know what you did last summer. Mm-hmm. All of them. Um, what was that other one he did? The fever, not fever pitch. Summer pitch. Summer pitch. Yeah. Where he played the baseball pitcher. Um. With Jessica Beale, who unfortunately I haven't heard a lot about her. Well, she was she, one of my childhood crushes. Well, I mean, a she doesn't have to do a lot. She did do some return Let's acting not too long ago. Even yeah, she acting. did. Yeah, she she is. She's doing a few more. Like I said, she was off for a while, and her, she was having babies. You know, because you know who she's married to, right? No, Justin Timberlake. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. They've been married for twelve years. Yeah. She's 42. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, she's been... I mean, she really doesn't have to, A, who she's married to. But she did do a TV show not too long ago. Um, and she's done a few things here and there. But I mean, it's. I mean, it seems like it to me that she's enjoying, you know, being a mother, spending time with her kids. And, you know, started doing some more just recently. So, hmm. so, but yeah, she's actually, you know, everybody's like either Bill or Alba. And of course, you know, I'm, I was a Bill. Yeah. I mean, what really got me was Blade Trinity. Yeah. I mean, she, she made sure that she was, was it your phone this time? No. We're getting a little bit of feedback in our headphones if you can't hear what's going on. So, I said, Blade Trinity was great because it was the breakout role, set up a new thing for Jessica Biel, and, of course, it made Ryan Reynolds who he is now. Because right. at, at that point, he was no different than Dane Cook yeah. until he put, packed on the muscle for Blade Trinity. So, yes. that was his... And then Deadpool followed, and it was game over. Yeah, it was... I do think it's wild, though. He did play wade wilson in x-men origins mm-hmm. but then they didn't have his mouth sealed in deadpool he was just weapon x and that was and a lot of fans a lot of people that was a horrible mistake on their part yeah. because the the deadpool you see at the end of the movie actually isn't ryan it's another guy right and they were in of course and the swords came out of his hands and everybody was like Okay, this this crap's not Deadpool. This is right. not Deadpool. That's Weapon X. This this was well, it's, it's it's this is a horrendous joke. So of course that's why you know uh, Ryan in Deadpool two when he traveled through time he did what he did to kind of rectify the whole mm-hmm. you know all of that situation saying basically kind of sorry about all that you know even with the Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. But God no. <laughs> <laughs> and no. even he referenced it in the first Deadpool movie. As no. long as my super suit's not animated in green. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for the new one. Yes. Oh, there's so much. Oh. <sighs> See, that's one thing is we also talk about movies on this. And speaking of, I saw a trailer for one that I if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. They're making the crow. <laughs> I know. And the crow is the one of my top five. Crow. Okay, and it's supposed to be Eric Draven. This is not Eric Draven. No, Eric Draven has been dead. And we for can twenty years, we thirty can, years, thirty now, thirty plus. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna do a thing where we're gonna talk about certain movies, yes. you know, and break it down. And yes. a lot of people misunderstood the whole concept of the crow. It's from a graphic novel. If you never read the graphic novel, you never understood the concept of the crow in the first place. The the main character of the crow is literally the 
bird, the crow. Because yep. the crow is what brought their souls back to get vengeance. Yep. So when the second one came out, they're like, it's not Eric Draven. Well, yeah, it's not Eric Draven. Not supposed to be. His, is done, his, his character took vengeance and got what needed done, done. That's why it's somebody different. Yep. So that's why I wasn't, I had no problem with the other ones. This one I have a problem with because they're trying to say it's Eric Draven. Yes, you cannot replace Brandon Lee. Sorry. It's not Eric Draven. Brandon Lee's character was Eric Draven. This guy is not Eric Draven. They, they could have gave him any other name and I would have been fine with it because it looks, it looks good. They better pull it off. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Like I said, like if that'd be, that'd be like redoing Boondock Saints, you can't. Which it looks like they might officially be doing a three now. Yes. Oh, see, you, 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 you cannot redo Boondock. I, no, no. And, and <laughs> no. if you did it, it better be with you, the same you, two guys. Well, but even if you, it's not the same two guys. Don't give them their name. Exactly. Make them give, Chicago guys or something. You know, call it Boondock Saints, but it's not the McManus the brothers. The Reckoning. It could be the McManus cousins, and it's two different, completely different names. Yeah. Cool or, with that. or they could be their half brother because their dad slept with somebody else. Yeah. Something, Something like that. That's but don't for. say that it's this character because yeah. it's not that character. Yeah. Everything yeah. about this character in the newest Crow movie is not Eric Draven. They could have, and if they would have stuck with him being the guitarist for the group, and how they die. Yep. If they would have done all that, I would have gave out, you know, I'm gonna still watch it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna I'll watch give it. it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. But it better but, pull some strings. But in but I like the story looks concept looks great. The filmography looks beautiful. You know, like I said my only hang up is that they're saying that's Eric Draven. Yeah. It's not Eric Draven. No. No, 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 no. So there's only one. And oh, something else when we do movies, especially uh, you know, uh, we're going to have our own little rating system. Okay. Good and bad. Not just good and bad. Like we're going to have specific mm. names. Like um, with, um, when I'm with my, you know, my family mm-hmm. and my mom asks, you know, if I've, when I've seen a movie, you know, how was it? For certain movies, I would tell her it's grandma approved. Gotcha. Okay. Now for some of you, you might think that's kind of, you know, you know, it's it's you know all cutesy movie. No, for my grandmother was an action movie fanatic. Mm-hmm. She loved action movies, but she hated the kissy kissy, all that other junk that went in it. Yep. She like great example, The Expendables. She would have loved. The Expendables would have been one of her favorite movies because it was action upon action and none of the other stuff. Because to her, the kissy face was not needed. So, for me, that's what I'm saying is we're going to have some of our own, you know. Right. And I'm going to give a list, you know, we'll give lists, you know, of older movies that fit within those certain, like I said, Expendables 1, 2, 3, Grandma Approved type things. So, but yeah, we'll come up with some other names and other specific titles that's not, you know, not that's unique to us, right. our style. Right. So, like I said, We'll do some theories on some movies of how you know interconnect movies, stuff like yeah. that. So, and we'll start talking about ours. Yes. Surprise, this, surprise, yo. Yeah. This weekend, I'm working more on that book. I said this book will hopefully, if it goes well, it will change because we've got basically another book and two movies, possibly more, depending on how it works out. So, and then got a web series that um, if if you know of anybody that's, that can draw anime style, let me know because I've got a web series I want to do and I want to do an anime style. So, hit me up. Um, yes, Curtis, he did. What he did? Yeah, he cooked one. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I he was, he was on high heat. <laughs> I called him. Yeah, he I, called me and he says he's on fire. I mean. Just yeah, like I said, the LDS called called the Rock Roman side chick. Called him a bitch. I mean, just I'm just like he. I mean, I, I'm. I want to see how the Rock responds to that because there have been no videos from the Rock this week. Not one. Not one. Not one. 
We did see a video about The Rock. Did you see it? Um, Dustin Rhodes? Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, But does, oh, yeah. And somebody did also um, the same, that same week, and basically it was August or April 6th, April 7th, whatever date that the Roman and Dust and uh, Cody are going to fight. 30 years previously, Roman's dad and Dusty fought. Are you ready? Sure. Oh, Dustin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zoom in here just a little bit. Yeah, I can see. Fuck the rock. Yeah, he was, uh, his sons are on his promotion. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, yeah. You got Cody's Instagram? No. No. Uh oh. Oh, please. Let's go searching. So, got the beat back. Don't know if you guys can hear that. We've got <laughs> something got moved, and we have literally like it's like a. Ah, there we go. Really. <laughs> let's see let's see i don't think it's that no one. that's not that no, that's... Well, folks they said to you oh my gosh yes rock oh, look yes, his dog. Your Gucci shirt, your oh i i do know that he put <laughs> did you see the bandana he put on his dog's collar Mm-mm. is that the what you're talking about oh. Let's see. Check that because I saw it. This one? No. Your dad, the American dream. One of the rock yes. heroes is looking down. Look for the picture. Isn't it true? Yeah. Or some... That you're the youngest of three. It's what Cody. And isn't it true? Let's see if my phone that is your sister up. was a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. We already heard all that. There we go. And isn't it true that your brother, your brother is a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. He just gave that away too. Years younger than your siblings, is that right? You know why? Because you were a mistake. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, he picked up a kid at one of the live shows that was dressed literally just like him. Here we go. It says, Brock is a cat. I, I saw that on the show. So, yeah, that night I saw that on the show when he came out of his bus i was like fightful okay hold on fightful <sighs> okay Ugh. oh yeah sent it to you all dominoes menu price pizzas are half off when you order Let's see here. The rock is a cat. (laughs) Oh, goodness. So. Back on track. Yeah, I said. So (laughs) I said that. I mean, that whole thing. Yeah. To see Cody like that was great. I honestly see a heel turn. 
with that promo, I see a heel turn. I don't know if a heel turn, but just definitely a more dark, darker version. Which I mean, to rightfully beat Roman, he's going to have to and like. And like he said, when uh, Paul Heyman came out, he's like, "I could go Homelander and rip your lips off." Yeah. So he said, and of, he's done the cartwheel with the yeah, which you know, gold dust. Yeah. But so stardust and stardust, which I think it I mean. I know, I know. I'm, You're supposed to be Michael Cole over there. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, I pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, Pat. I said, I mean, to, he might have to go a little darker. I mean, like I said, a lot darker. So, because you know, in the newest era that we have going on for wrestling, because it it is a new era. Yep. You gotta go tip for tap. You know. And I mean, I don't know what they're going to call it. If they're going to call it the bloodline era, because the bloodline did start this era. Mm -hmm. But even with it being the you know quote unquote bloodline era, just because that's what my name will give it right now. Watch the tomorrow night. They're going to call it the bloodline era and be like, "Look, (laughs) watch our video last night, bitches." (laughs) If they do, I know you're watching, and I ain't mad. Okay, just get in contact with me. I'll work with you. I I, I, I've wanted to for decades. We want. Lifetime tickets yeah. and backstage passes yeah. at every event so, that's I'll, here. I'll, I'll I'll work with you and Trust every you. PLE. Yeah, I'll. But I mean, and we I want th- exclusive I think... interview rights. Oh yes, I would love to interview. If you let us just sit back, I don't even got to watch the show. Let me sit backstage and interview you guys. That's yeah, it. I'm good. I mean, you, you've interviewed us before because, you know, we were there at WrestleMania two years ago. We were. We, showed up. we got interviewed for the Hidden Treasures show. Yeah. Sure did. And they, and I, it was funny because we were, we were watching them and the guy was getting people off and on pretty fast. Yeah. I think we were definitely the longest interview. We sat there for 40 minutes. Just going back and forth. And it was fun. Yes, so. It was. Um, I'm still waiting to see if that episode like airs. I, if they ever bring it back, I, I would love to see that. <clears throat> um, but I lost what I was going to say. Oh, with the like I said, if we call it "quote unquote" bloodline era, right? It's funny if it's the bloodline era, but the face of this era is Cody. Ha- is Cody? Yeah, and it started with when he showed up at WrestleMania. And we were there. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if it's, if you know, you can't call it the Cody era. You can't call it the Nightmare. I mean, the Blood Eye era would make more sense. Right. But the face of it would be Cody. Absolutely. And that's why I still feel that he will be, he, he will win at yeah. Mania. I agree. So, and like I said, that's, and, you know, even like what The Rock said, he kind of hinted at last year is the only reason he didn't win last year is because of, the soon to be purchasing by TKO. Right. So it would have been too much of a jumble for a brand new purchase with a new company to do it at that time frame. So, and I'm not my, Hey, it's, it's helped make for great TV along the way, you know, and it's called, it's sparked a lot of debate and a lot of conversation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm good with that. So, and then after the, after that, the show just started to slowly, you had the ricochet dominic match lame i mean ricochet pulled his weight dominic did all right you know and of course not had, dominic jd uh, uh, it was dominic was it and then jd came in and you that's know, right and tried that's to right. help at the end i wasn't paying much attention yeah i mean it was you know and like i said it was it was a typical ricochet match right you know you know and i was i was cool and then i kind of Got peaked because they went backstage, and that's when you know Sammy met up with Chad and was like, you know, thank you, and a whole new side of Chad, oh, dressed yeah. nice. Yeah, I was it caught my attention. Is saying, man, basically just told Sammy, you don't have what it takes to beat Gunther. Mm-hmm. I was she like, she really doesn't. No, and I don't mean that physicality wise or any of that. Yeah. He's just well, and and. But it made me really think about it is because it was during the little contract signing that I really lost interest. Yeah. And at one point I was looking in, you know, and I, I won't say this is a fair comparison, but how they've been doing with Sammy and his beard and growing his hair out. 
and he is a vegan. It reminded me of another vegan, almost like they're trying to make him like Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. You know, in a sense. Or they're bringing out, uh, what was it? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. They, they need to leave that in the closet. That one. Just leave it that alone. Was, that was horrible. Leave it alone. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Let I it mean, go. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, we talked about it Sunday. You know, the whole semi caught a lot of traction with the not feeling goosey. Yeah. That was his highlight. That, you know, that helped him get up there. Mm-hmm. But without that, he is still Sammy. He's still mid card. Yeah, he's not. You know, he's he's got skills, but he's just not the face. The bloodline brought him back. Yeah, you know his connection with the Usos. A long time working together. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. But the only time Sammy does really good is when he's with somebody else. Right. Somebody that has that little extra KO. Mm -hmm. You know, that has you know, ain't. And they were, they're trying to make Sammy more aggressive. I just, I'm. It's not believable, though. Exactly. That's what I was saying. I'm, it's, it's just. It's kind of like putting a dinosaur growl on a chihuahua. Funny, but it just doesn't right. fit. It catches your attention for a minute, but then. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, anyways. Like, did that chihuahua just bark? Oh, that was a growl. Oh, that was cute. It's high pitched. Right. So, anyways, next. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty much that's what it's. So, and yeah, I just. So, like I said, that that lost me, and then of course, he goes stomping off backstage, and I only know this because I. To make sure to write my notes, I felt like I might have missed something in my notes. I backtracked it, and rewashed it just to make sure because, like I said, next thing I know. Awesome truth and and to share were on the screen. I was mm-hmm. like, hold up, how did we get here? I'm right. completely, I I was completely lost. And so that's the only reason I knew that Sammy had gone stomping past them. Yep. So speaking of passing people, <clears throat> kudos to you, Seth Rollins. We'll get there. Ooh, we'll get there. That I thought there was gonna be a fight in the walk ramp. <laughs> that was I said it was one of those other highlights for the night. Man. So, so like I said, um, I loved how with you know our truth, like I don't know who's gonna be fighting them, and he's like, <laughs> this is like, I'll tell them a little bit. Yeah. And then of course, then awesome truth won, and truth is like, we won, you know. So yep. yeah, about halfway through that match, like I said, is when I kind of like, oh yeah, well there's something going on here. But literally, I picked up my phone and just was scrolling through like Facebook or something. I think I was playing a video game. So, not gonna lie. I said, and I'm. No, it was working. I went to sleep. I had to work. Right. So, and then of course we had what you were talking about. Drew starts coming out. Doesn't even make it halfway down. Thirty feet. Yeah, and then Seth. <laughs> I I laughed so hard I cried. And I and I don't know if. Drew really knew that was going to happen, or if he just played it, if he acted it out so well, his reaction. So, and then for the, the how they were bantering back and forth, their reactions, you know, it was, it was great. It was very entertaining, you know, and very believable. So I, I really enjoyed that. Like I said, I was back into it at that point. And then... Let's see. <sighs> After that, we had New Day versus Alpha Academy. And I didn't even see you won that one. Uh, New Day won it. Nice. I I was I was expecting New Day to win it. They're the last team in the match, right? Yes. Okay. If I remember right. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're the last ones. I did love how <laughs> Otis. I'm, I'm I'm gonna call him Otis. I'm you know I just love that part. I know. Um, he, he basically pretty much has a new move because he was ex- taking Xavier Woods' head and bouncing it off of his chest, and then bouncing it off I of his chest. I saw stomach. that, and you heard Pat. He goes, you just bounced the brains out of him. It was, and then they showed the replay. It was hilarious. I was like, actually, that's kind of a – it's right. new, and it's it's very entertaining. I, so I loved it. I was like, 
you know, and, and both of them, you know, they were a little more aggressive, not as playful as they have been. So we're hoping we are truly hoping. See, there's but there's a lot of road bumps. Yeah. And if he if he comes back, I don't I really don't see mania being the right time. No, I say after maybe Royal Rumble. And I, I see it. And if he comes back, honestly, I, I if I see him coming back is because Seth loses to Drew. Yep. And Roman, Roman loses to Cody. And everybody turns on Roman. Everybody turns on Roman. And then Dean comes back and then reform a, another, a newer version of the show. And then they can go out in retirement like that. Yeah. So the way they came in. Yeah. Because, I mean, DX retired together. But what was left of them anyway? Yeah. So, so the, the original two retired together. Yeah. Which was great. So in their last live showing. Can we help you, Gigglebox? <laughs> well, Y'all see this over here? I did not know that sex could be so pleasurable, but so painful. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't allow minors in here. <sighs> Minor pain in the butt. What? No. <laughs> Major pain. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. What are you laughing at, big boy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you read lips? <laughs> Let me break it down. Uh, so then, of course, we get to the final match. That, Becky versus Naya. I honestly think that was Becky's best match. It was. Like they ended raw, they ended raw really good. I I can't. I gotta say yes. that. And and Pat McAfee's reaction when they showed the free play when she jumped off that ladder, boy, he went nuts. He did, but I did too. Right. But when, did you? Did you, I? When she you, manhandled, slammed her onto the table, I went nuts. And right. then when she came off the off the ladder, you can ask my wife. I literally rewound raw, and said, "Baby, watch her leg." Her right leg lands on Naya's face. Yeah, it did. And smacked her into that table. Yeah, it did. You know, and not to say that Naya didn't deserve that after how many people. Oh, yeah. But I mean, great performance between Becky and Naya. I didn't catch her announcement. What was her announcement? I did. I'm going to talk about that. I already have that on here because oh, right. halfway through, Pat made a comment, and I was like, "What?" That didn't make sense. And hmm. then after the show, okay, you know, Rhea came in after she won. So after the show, she, Becky gets on, gets on the mic and she's like, now everybody knows, here knows, you know, I'm from Ireland. I'm a proud Irish girl. Oh, she got her citizenship. Yeah. She's yeah. like, a few hours ago, I officially became an American citizen. Yep. I saw so, that part. Yeah. So I just thought there was something else. Yeah. No. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 She announced that she is officially an American citizen. Pat almost messed it up. Yeah. Because he said an Irish American. And Michael Cole looked like he shut him off real quick. It was like, oh, crap. I don't think I was supposed to say anything yet. Type. Yeah. So I was like. It is so, awesome. Yeah. That was, that's way cool. You know, like she said, Ed, you know, this, she came to the WWE for opportunity. And that's what America is. It's the land of opportunity. And hopefully, you know, so yeah, that was, that was really cool. I was, I love seeing that, you know, it just, you, you got to like her and now you really got to like her more. So, you know, and of course the, the whole entire crowd was chanting USA. So did you get to catch NXT at all? No. Okay. Unlike their their bigger show raw who they you know, or smackdown where they talk for 20 so minutes 30 seconds in fight nice i mean it was roxanne perez was walking out didn't even make it was kind of like with drew didn't even make it 30 feet and she and or and tatum and all that fight instantly just hmm. going on they attack each other i'll have to watch it i said and this is the only second match I've seen with Tatum Paxley. The girl's good. 
she uh, she reminds me. And I hate to to you know mm-hmm. correlate wrestlers with other wrestlers, mm-hmm. but I mean, when a certain style and certain way that they are, you know, that you just can't help it. Right. So, but she reminds me of Paige. Okay. And I mean, she's got mad skills, very ingenuitive in the ring, and okay. she's a very fresh face. So, I mean, where she's at now already, and like I said, this match with Roxanne and Roxanne's new character, it was, yeah, I was, I was already stoked <laughs> from the very get go. I mean, so, um, and also with Roxanne's, you know, heel turn now, her viciousness is on point for a heel. Good. So it was, like I said, like I said, once again, NXT is becoming one of the better shows. About so, time. Yeah. I mean, the wrestling's picked up. The storylines have picked up. You know. I wonder yeah. if they're ever going to take that to Tuesdays or Wednesdays and have three shows, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I mean, it's fine right where it's at right now. It's possible with TKO, though. With TKO, I mean, then they're going to, you know, like I said, you know, was it Raw supposed to go to Netflix? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they could. You know, give it you know a bigger platform possibly. I don't know. I mean, right now it's it's working perfectly, and it's one of those if it ain't broke, why fix it type right. thing. So just keep building on it. Um, of course, in metaphor, after that they were backstage talking. You know, and of course they brought up you know kind of the kiss between Trick and Lash and all that. Right. And Alpha Academy showed up. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of like what's going on here <laughs> so it was like all right so yeah they were looking for uh basically to talk to somebody higher up you know ava so it was like okay this could be interesting because they're working on a tag team you know basically gauntlet not gauntlet match but a fatal four-way type thing right so whoever's going to face the wolf dogs but <laughs> they, 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 they it was supposed to be already three teams that name gets me still. yeah and wolf dogs. Wolf Dogs, and it's so corny, but the way that they they're, they're going along with it is great. So, um, <laughs> so of course, then the next thing is um, Oba Femi is supposed to be coming out, and Josh Briggs basically just jumps into the ring and starts talking and calls out Oba because uh, Oba basically just beat the tar out of Josh Briggs. It's, you know former tag partner, right? still friends, you know, but they're kind of doing their own thing, trying to, you know, build them a new, a singles career, all of them. And, I mean, so, that already, with Josh Briggs and Oba Femi already looked like a good match. And then, Dijak came out. Oh, Sarah Logan's gimmick at, as Valhalla. Uh, that's only because of a... The, the other guy, the other member of the Viking Raiders is her husband. So, you know, trying to keep them together. And, I mean, they had a true... Ivar? No, I... Uh, Eric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Eric is her husband. Really? Yeah. They uh, Whenever they got let go during COVID, they took that time and actually had a kid, got married. And they had a traditional, like, Nordic wedding. Nice. So that's, I mean, that is who Where they is are. Eric right now? He is out hurt. So speaking sidebar here for this real quick, I saw something that, that shocked. So, you know, the one guy we, Mr. Logan Paul, mm. he, I saw a thing where he was, he's went to the NXT development center. Right. And was looking at the records and saw for like, you know, the vertical jump. Of who had the highest vertical jump, and it's Montez Ford. Right. Okay. And he said, I, I want to beat that. <laughs> I was not, I was very shocked to see who number two behind Montez Ford is. Ivar, 38 inches. Yeah. What? Ivar, yes. 330 pound, big dude, 38 inch. What? I mean, the dude flies off the top rope as it is. Right. I mean, he's insane. Right. Yeah. Imagine if he was muscled. 
Bobby who? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, he had to give Brock Lesnar a run for his money if he was muscled. Adam Sure. I mean, I want to see him come back. Yeah. And he might with Dallas coming back. <laughs> I'm on the fence about that because he was good in the cage. He's good in the ring. Yeah. Better in a cage. It's his natural element for yeah, sure. It is, but I mean, he's very entertaining in the ring too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, granted, he only has, you know, very few moves, but how he interacts. Especially since he got away, you know, he finally was able to talk for himself and got away from Paul. That it, you know, he really started to blossom. So, I mean, he said, "I'm in the hillbilly type Brock Lesnar. I I like, you know, I wasn't a huge Brock Lesnar fan, but the cowboy hat wearing, bulldozer driving kind of, I I, I was I was good with that." And they do need to bring back Eric Rowan. And especially if it looks like what they're doing with uh, Bo and the Wyatt Six, it would be they do need to bring him back. And like I said, he did show up when they did the, you know, that thing for Bray. So, and Braun should be coming back soon too. So, I mean, they could be waiting on Braun, bringing Braun back for that. So, so I what what they're going to do with that? I am I'm waiting on pins and needles. I am super excited to see because I said even Bo in his little promo thing took a pop shot at the Rock. Yep, and his writing staff. Yep. So I said that already tells me where their mindset is. So, um, <clears throat> but anyways. Let's, I'll get back to the Oba Josh Briggs. Uh, while they're doing that, you know, talking about for the the title, his Go daughter. Uh, have you seen his daughter? Oh, Brock's daughter. <laughs> yeah, Brock's daughter looks just like him. Brock. I mean, it, it, yeah. Have you, have you seen a picture of Brock? Yeah. Red looks, hair, pasty skin. Looks poor girl. I mean, in the face, it looks like Brock Lesnar with boobs. I mean, yes. shoulders and all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, poor girl, and she is a beast at yeah. wrestling. Oh, yeah. She, she's tearing them up. I, I mean, see her coming up too. Yeah, uh, she would be. Yeah, if she, yeah. I mean, she's already. Yeah. So her coming in would be just that'd be crazy. I so many things they could do with that one right there. I mean, having her fight the guys and having Brock and her as tag team champions. <laughs> yes. I can see it. But it would have to be mixed tag. I don't know about that. You know, I think that's a belt that they should come up with. A yeah. mixed tag team. Yeah. I think that would be interesting. Yeah. Who's the other big girl? Nia, Nia Jax? Yeah. Beast? Them two. Yeah. So... Yeah, Nia Jackson, Brock's daughter. Holy moly. Jade Cargill. Yeah. Yeah. They need Jade and um uh what's her name? Not Naomi. Oh, Tamina? No. No. What, what? tip of my tongue. Get off. <laughs> Describe Bianca. Oh, Bianca. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I I think Jade Cargill and Bianca would be a great match. But like I said, we think it looks like it'll be the first one will be uh, Jade and Nail or and Naya. Right. So, which wouldn't be too bad. I mean, it'll be definitely a mid card match. I'm not sure how well it'd go over at Mania. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, Naya has gotten so much further along and gotten so much better. So. Yeah. 
Uh, but also with the Oba, Josh Briggs, then Dijak came in, and well, as they kind of started swinging at each other, and between the three of them, nobody could get the better of each other. So they all, by the end of it, they all looked about the same level, and they're all about the same size. Right. And Dijak's been kind of undersold. He's been he's he's got this. He's he's got it for a big guy. He just needs the right avenue to get him, you know. So, and <clears> then <throat> Joe Gacy, because his last little thing with Joe Gacy, I like Joe Gacy. I said it reminds me of a, a, you know, young Bray Wyatt type. It's just off the wall, weird. Mm-hmm. Like I said, him and Dijak had a match, like a no hold barred, and and Gacy brought in this box. And everybody's like, what's in the box? Of course, when I heard what's in the box, my, my mind first went to seven. What's in the box? You know, but basically when Dijak got over to the box, basically they had like a, a boxing glove on a and punched him right in the gut. So, so, yeah, he's got that. He's got, there's some things going on with that guy, Joe Gacy. <laughs> And said he was, and Ava was part of his crew, but then that kind of got dismantled. You know, not, not their fault. Uh, like I said, they've got a tag team title thing going on. Uh, Axiom and Nathan Frazier went up against, and it's, it's a group called the No Quarter Catch Crew. I saw that. <clears throat> the name is too dang long. I mean, No Quarter Catch Crew. In QCC, yeah, it's just too long. I mean, and all the guys that are part of it, they are all technical type wrestlers, you know. And for that, I mean, it, it made for between Axiom and Nathan Frazier and those guys, you know, it, it worked out really well because in the, the gimmick with the no, no quarter catch crew, ugh, too much, it's called the NQCC, yeah. I'm gonna call it the quarter, the catch crew. I'm just gonna, just to guess no it. quarter, no quarter. Yeah, is that you don't know which members of the crew you're going to face until it's the match starts. So that's just kind of their gimmick, and they all hold. You know, they they have the uh, Heritage Cup Championship, and because of how their group set up is, technically they all can compete for the Heritage Cup. Right. So what, if you go up against one for it one night, you can go up against, for it, against somebody else the next night for it. Huh. So like I said it's it's an interesting concept. The name's just too dang long. So, but like I said, it was still it was still a, it was a very action packed, almost old school wrestling technical match. So it was still really good. Um, like I said we give it to you know the Wolf Dogs. Baron and Braun, they're doing an interview. They have matching track suits. And, you know, they're taking, you know, little quips at each other. And that's when Alpha Academy showed up. Right. Saying, yeah, they know that they've already got people and everybody's set up for the tag team title, you know, match to figure out who's going to face them. But they want to be part of it. Like, oh, well, you know, all of them are figured out. So Alpha Academy says, well, how about next week we face you? And if we beat you, then we get a shot at the basically. And then moving up Academy down to NXT. I don't know. And I mean, if so, for just a little bit, I don't know. Like I said, they're moving a lot of them down to NXT for a bit. Like I said, but for Baron, it's helped them out a whole lot because I think Baron has been the most liked he has ever been right now with Braun. So. <laughs> Maxine Dupree was doing all the talking, and Braun was just kind of like, uh-huh, yeah, uh oh, yeah. And she's like, so how about we do this match? And Braun's like, deal. <laughs> and Baron was like, what are, you, what are you doing? So, so yeah, they basically had to look like, you know, Braun's got the hots for Maxine Dupree. Oh, let's see. Then we finally had the return of Sol Ruka. 
So, yeah, she's been gone for about 10 months. Okay. That's probably why I don't yeah. remember. Uh, she had a knee injury. This girl, she was she's good. She's got a surfer type kind of. There's a sound y'all need. Yeah. <laughs> that was so great. I'm over here like, what? <laughs> I was like, is something rolling across the floor? <laughs> no. I thought one of the kids had a toy and they were rolling. The thunder rolls. <laughs> Like, wow, Ooh. Jordan, you want to you want to come talk? <laughs> that for a was that a fart? <laughs> oh, other side, dog. <laughs> oh, the smart fart took the elevator yeah. 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 all the way up. <laughs> Top floor, please. <laughs> so I, I bet it felt good. Oh, it did. He just didn't want to wake the baby up, huh? <laughs> like, hold, hold it. it. Hold it. Did you swallow it down every time it came up? That's why it was so damn loud. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so Ruka it came back first match after ten months. Uh, I said she didn't miss a beat. I mean, if you didn't, she hadn't. She didn't look like she'd been gone a second out of the ring. She's got a finisher that is out of this world. If you want to, you need to pull up her finisher move. It's it's great, uh, but her match was against another wrestler, Brinley Reese, and Brinley Reese's character reminds me of Thea Hill from Chase U uh, right now. Just the Thea is a character and a half. Yeah. So, All right, what are we looking up? Sol Ruka, S O L R U C A, finisher. Yeah, finisher right there. This move is killer. It's a soul snatcher. So, I do. I want to see Keith Lee make it back too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it again, damn it. <laughs> that caught you off guard, dude. Flips upside down does an RKO from the ring post. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, that was 11 days ago. So. Well, who is that? Uh, that's a YouTube commentator or uh, gotcha. creator. So. <laughs> so. But yeah, Brian, I agree. I Keith Lee, he got he kind of got the shaft when his big appearance, like I said, especially since his wife is there. You know, and I know Triple H loves to have couples together. So, but I mean, it's from what I've seen, I haven't actually got to watch it, but I mean it looks like he's doing pretty good right now where he's at. So but I mean hopefully eventually. You know, he, needs, he he gets back. He needs to come back. I, I I liked Keith Lee at NXT. I was happy he came over, and then all those layoffs happened. I just got mad. So those the, those layoffs made me so mad. I actually stopped watching for about three months, especially when they let, when he let Bray go. I, I I literally stopped watching for about three months. I was yeah. I was so upset because it was just ridiculous. So, but. Said so now that Triple H is in charge, everybody came back. He's bringing as everybody that he can back. You can tell. I said so. It's good, but like I said, and we've also talked about, but it's also kind of packing up the roster. So I mean, I mean they need to do just another show. I hate mm-hmm. to say it. Yeah, and like see on Wednesdays. Well, not, and make it bigger. I mean, if they made it bigger, but still, that's not going to be. I don't see that. I, 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 I just think they need another show. What would they even call it? I don't know. Mid card. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad. 
on a Wednesday. Right. WWE Midgard. Yeah. You cannot call it Regeneration X. <laughs> Period. Go for it. Because then that would be our show. Hey, that's fine. As long as we're in control of it. We're writing it. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and, you know, I've talked about Rich Holland, you know, and how mm-hmm. what they're doing with his character. And it looks like they're going to let him loose. Like, Good. just let him just go. Good. So, like I said, he's a big guy. He, I think that it'll be good. It'll be great for him. So, uh, then they kind of lost me on this one, even though I like Tony D'Angelo and the D'Angelo family. The little promo getting ready for Stand and Deliver, it still was just kind of boring. Yeah. So, I mean, there's been such great moments, especially with them, that it was I was I was disappointed with it. But I mean, you can't always hit home runs. No. So I'll I'll let them slide. Um. So the next match, once again, <laughs> Riley Osborne, who's part of Chase U, mm-hmm. and then another member of No Quarter. So, and and it was another great. Old school, high intensity, great match. So, like I said, we're getting a lot of the O's with NXT, just because right. of some of the people that are in it. So, I loved it. Uh, and then, I don't know if you knew the OC, yeah. you know, the Good Brothers have been down in NXT, and that. they're competing. They're they're in, they're part of the group that was competing for the tag team title thing, mm-hmm. and they went against what's called this group called Hank and Tank. Yeah, and uh, Hank's character <laughs> used to be one of the security guards for NXT and basically worked his way into becoming a wrestler. Uh, Tank, he was part of the NIL when they first started doing that, you know, and guy's got some skills. He's he's still raw, but he still was able to put on a good match. Hank is still, I mean, He's okay, but he he at times would slow the match down. But right. He'd be slowed down. It was like the guy would go to the corner, and instead of rushing over there to like start attacking him, he just kind of almost just kind of slowly walked over. You know, huh. it's like, come on, hurry up now. So, and then the final match was Trick Williams versus Noam Dar. And I wasn't sure what to expect from this match, and I was actually quite surprised because they're two very different styles. Right. And I, but in all, it was actually entertaining. They, you know, they kind of referenced, you know, the kiss from the previous week and tried to play off of it. And then, you know, it was, you know, it didn't work out because, you know, they should try to slap him. But, I can read that last part. So at one point, Trick does a urinagi, okay, to Noam Dar. But uh, <laughs> the announcer's like, oh, he did a rock bottom. Well, Booker T is the other announcer there. And I was like, no, it should be, he should have said the bookend. Well, then the guy's like, well, that was a good bookend to that part. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Makes you wonder, is Booker going to make a comeback? If he is, I, I I don't know, because he just had that knee surgery not too long ago. Yeah. I mean, I can see him making, you know, another one of those quick appearances, you know, for, you know, one show, you know, another, right. like, Survivor Series, a quick, you know, appearance. Um, so, but, I mean, I, don't know, I think he's pretty much just, I think he's enjoying what he's doing now. He's... He's very, you know, comical announcer mm. with his shooky yes, dookie quack quack and all that other stuff. I said Roxanne Perez is one of his students, so he's helping definitely her out a lot right. with ideas. But I mean, pretty much, yeah, that was that's a him question, Brian. What? Yeah, I think Drew will see. I I do think that Drew will 
beat Seth. He's a McIntyre fan. Uh, yeah, I've liked Drew McIntyre. At, at Mania, when we were there, I had my kilt and my Drew McIntyre shirt on. So And his little belt badge thingy. Yeah. Whatever so, that thing's called. Uh, my belt. Whatever. Yeah. It looked like a purse. Oh, you mean my sporin? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, that's have something to carry your stuff in. The nut satchel. Yeah. <laughs> A little too small for that, but you know, hey. Yeah, they are a little too small for that. I know. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> we got a whole lot of extra time. Well, yeah, like I said, I kind of expected it just because yeah. you only had two shows. But so but let's do uh we'll do some movies because I did see it as a teaser trailer on the way over here. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Unsafe driving. Yeah, you know. I well I just put some I put stuff on, you know, while I'm driving to Look keep me distracted. Guy. Look at this guy. I never look at my phone when I'm driving. Bullshit! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, man, someone got stuck in my throat on that one. I know. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I've actually watched a full episode of Raw while driving, okay? You are always on your phone. Always. <laughs> <It's hurting. laughs> yes, like a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah, I guess you call it a fanny pack, yeah. The original fanny pack. So... Why do they call it a fanny pack? It's not on your fanny. It used to be on the fanny. Eh. But then everybody turned around to the front. Okay, so what's this one you saw? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. I, I saw one for that. So a little teaser trailer. Yeah. So I'm. it got me excited for it. Yeah. So just because of who all is coming back, and plus the addition of Jenna Ortega. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm of course, and it's Michael Keaton. Love Michael Keaton after years. How are they going to make him look young? He's like seven. They're not. He's his character looks. Is it a whole new family he's haunting? I, it's the same house, right? Well, yeah. It's Winona Ryder. It's the stepmother or mother, really? And yeah, and and Jenna. So, hmm. so I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Maybe we'll see. Like I said, and I know for a fact that it's they. Completely recreated the entire town from ground up. Right. On site. Hmm. So, best upcoming movies. Last time we did this, some of those movies <coughs> sucked. Well, we can find out. So, which this weekend we got Ghostbusters coming out. That's going to be on Max, by the way. Is it going to be on Max? I'm not going to a theater. But if it's on Max, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Have you seen, you saw Wonka, right? Not yet. You need to watch Wonka this I want to watch Wonka. Uh, I'm going to ask you about it. Next week. Okay. Well, I think you still have to pay for it to watch one. No, it's on Max. Is it on Max now? Yeah. Okay. I'll then I'll check it out. So is the new Godzilla movie. Okay. And Dune. I watched that. Well, Dune two is it? I watched Dune. Oh yeah. Well, you told one? me to watch Dune. Okay. And Dune well, which, one is on there. Okay, Dune Part One. Yes. Okay. So yeah, Dune Part One. Uh part two, I wanna see. I said if you haven't seen the original Dune from 1985. Oh, this was a Dune with the same characters. I know. This, too, is the, so. this is one that just came out a few years ago or last year. Something like that. Just recently. So it's a great setup. It was a great way to work into the second one, which is going to be where all the action is at at that point. Right. So. so yes, Godzilla is out. Yeah. So. All right. Let's see what we got. This is obviously Kong. Oh, and there people keep trying to say that Henry Cavill is going to be in no. Deadpool Wolverine. I don't think so. I don't think so either. What is this? Little girl's got a pet spider. She's feeding it bugs. Hours. 
Hmm. No, if you don't, if you have arachnophobia, this is not one for you to watch. Oh, wow. Sting. Yeah, Godzilla versus Kong, the new one. Yeah, it's not coming out yet. It's not out yet. So, Street Fighter. Until Hilda Vandercoy took it from us. This is how she keeps control. They call it the calling. Oh, she so died. That's me facing televised execution by breakfast cereal mascots. Not my happiest day. But let me take it back to an even worse one. The day the Vandercoys killed my family and left me deaf and mute. So I made a three-step plan. Step one, give myself an inner voice. I took the last one I remembered from this video game. Fire one win. Step two, get stronger. A lot stronger. Kind of look more like his brother. Is that Pennywise? Yes. Wow. And, and he's also the new crow. Oh my God, yeah. Of course, you know who his brother is, right? Yes. Okay. I'll say we watched the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then his dad. So, uh, let's see, here's one everybody. Yeah, it was Boy Kills World with Bill Skarsgård. Sam Key Jensen, so it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty entertaining. So I first trailer I've time I've seen the trailer for it, so I'm actually I, w- I want to see it. And I had uh, Guns Akimbo type vibes from that. So, but of course, this is Wolverine. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
just stand there. You pay me a hand out. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, so after my son's birthday, he loves Deadpool, so it's pretty much a given. We're going to go see it. Well, heck, if they do what they normally do, they'll release it like at 10 o'clock the night before. Mm-hmm. What's this one? I don't know. It's a Western setup. I started watching the Damsel show. Oh, yeah? It's amazing. Okay. Is that Vigo? No, that's Kevin Kevin Costner. Costner. Yeah. I do not know. <laughs> Some of the faces they look familiar, but I can't quite picture them. I feel they are. So, it looks like it's got a pretty good start. You know, starts to cast. Mm-hmm. Thank you that much this year. Feel like it's the setup for to get to where like Charlton Charlton Heston's. So not really. Sean Penn, huh? Yeah. What's his name? Doesn't matter. Oh, I see. Why do you care? Well, she didn't talk to you about this. I don't think you've ever seen it again. What about you? What about me? What? How do you live your life? You grew up in my death. <laughs> do you miss it? Do sometimes. Okay. She's showing up a lot more. Dakota Johnson. Hmm. I 
think I can wait till it comes out on streaming. Uh oh. That's Pacino. Yeah, Keaton. Keaton. Who better than to clean up a murder than somebody they won't remember? Looks really good. James Marsden, Michael Keaton. It does. Al, yeah. I'm, I'm... When I was a kid, we had to write about our favorite heroes. And this one hero, and he wrote about his father. And then I was stuck with me. There's nothing special about me. It's special. It's the most ordinary thing in the world. I'm Adam. In 13 years time, today's my last day. Found a new place, found a new job. But a really big place, uh, I'm at my son. I'm sorry, I wasn't there for you. You recognize him? He used to run these streets. I feel like that like a second chance. I know I've got a second chance. Old in this one. Mm hmm. Ben Affleck? No. Enter the daughter. Thank you. 
all done. We can do this, right? Yeah. Hmm. Take a deep breath. Jaws? No. It's kind of like uh, they've had two other movies like it where people get stranded out to that sea. Like a bachelorette party is going on. One of them gets hurt, cut. Of course, they're in the water, and of course, it's going to attract sharks. Something in the water. Hmm. I bet you it's sharks in the water. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Zendaya. Challenger. Yeah. I mean, it looks okay. Nope. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> that one was yeeted. <laughs> he straight yeeted the one out. Didn't even care. <laughs> Sean Penn. Another Sean. Yeah. He's been busy this last year, apparently. Mm hmm. So, but basically, it looks like you know, paramedics mm -hmm. going out to sites. Kane's Film Festival. Yeah, this is paramedics and some of the stuff they face, and it's New York, so mm -hmm. some, looks like they're going to the main character just experiencing this stuff going through with these individuals in New York can be a, a very taxing on an individual like they already so mentally, emotionally. Gritty. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be gritty. Just a subject alone. Mm hmm. Asphalt City. That's a lame name. <laughs> In this world, some humans are mutating into different things, creatures, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And for the main character, because of his mother, they're kind of... And of course, some people are not accepting of these people changing. So it looks like... 
Twisters. I don't know this one anywhere. Just want to see the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to see it. When does it come out again? July? Uh, February. Yeah, June. Oh, it's coming up close. Yeah. Using part of part one, yeah, they're using some of the stuff from. Like I said, I think Dorothy is about the only thing that makes it from the original. Yeah. Other than that, they said pretty much it's there's no connection to any of the former characters or anything. It's a it's its own pseudo standalone movie. Ram Lion, huh? It's not gonna be the same unless they have cows. I like Henry. I like him, but he's not Wolverine. No, I would. I would love to see him as a Doctor Doom. He'd make a good Bane. Well, but that's DC. That's not right. Marvel. But he'd so. still make a good one. Yeah, I mean, I can see if they had somebody else. I mean, I mean, a great Bane if he would would have been, you know, Batista. Yes, my favorite Bane um, has to be Tom Hardy. Yeah, he did great. Yes. As Bane. I mean, granted, he was not the size that Bane what is in the comics. He was diabolically as bad. But it was a great representation yeah. for Bane. Oh, yeah. I, I love that they, you know, of course, they carried the breaking of the back mm-hmm. on Spider-Man, or Spider-Man, Batman on that. Um, but, I, I, you know, Henry Cavill, I would love to see him as a villain. In yeah. Doctor Doom. I think he'd make a great Doctor Doom. Uh People are like, well, he could be Captain Britain, which, I mean, is too much on the nose as Captain Britain. Um, Cyclops, because they're going to redo the X-Men. He might do, he'd be a pretty good Cyclops. So, even your 15 million messages. Right. <laughs> I'm a popular guy. So, I said, I hope from some of the stuff I've seen that I would... Uh, Taryn Edgerton as Wolverine. If they're going to redo Wolverine, Exy from yeah. the Kingsman. Yeah. And he had been, he's been working out. There's been pictures of him working out. So he, he would be closer to the height of Wolverine from the comics. Graham, you know, still Wolverine from the comics is only like five foot three. He's not tall at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I, I, I like Taryn Edgerton. I think he would. Not Daniel Radcliffe. I keep seeing that. I want to throw yeah, something. Yeah. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe has proven himself to be a great actor. I will never watch Wolverine again if Daniel Radcliffe was Wolverine. Yeah, I just no, no. no. I'd I'd much rather see Jim Carrey. 
<laughs> can, you, can you imagine a Deadpool version of Wolverine? He's already I mean, had if, you, the if, hair. You're gonna, if you're gonna do that, you might as well go like Jack Black. No, Jim Carrey's already had the hair. I know he's Ace had Ventura. the hair from Ace Ventura. Yes, I mean he can pull it off. I mean Jack Black would be. We kept him just sitting there. I, I feel bad. What? They didn't get to see the video. I know, but eventually we need to work it to where we can do a split screen, and so you can see what we're seeing, and that way you know makes it a little better for you guys. But yes. Like I said, that's one of those things. Slowly we'll work over and start adding stuff on to where we can do that. It's almost my bedtime. Yeah. So you have to wake up at six o'clock now. Yeah, and it's almost my bedtime because I get up at four o'clock. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. So, Mary, I, I haven't looked at my phone yet, but I can already guess that my wife is going to be nine twenty. I'm gonna see a message. Are you yeah. not home yet? Yeah. So I heard the microphone go. Boom, boom, boom. Probably. So. I think we're gonna call it a night. Yep, yeah, I think it's gonna be a night. Next week so, will be a little more. I said full. we'll have three full episodes of stuff. Yes. I said we're gonna start working on some of the other stuff. And we'll be back to a semi-normal right. chaos here. Back to a regular, <laughs> back to a regular schedule program. A normal chaos. So, all right, guys, well, it's been fun. Y'all want to say bye? Bye. Hasta luego. <laughs> you shall now. Um, what's the word for it? Uh, yeet. You shall now be yeeted. Yeeted. See ya.